In this lecture, we are going to write a little bit useful program than just printing hello world on the screen. We are going to learn how to write down a computer program using C language to actually calculate the area of a given circle. Now before you start programming, first thing first is you should be clear yourself on how to calculate the area of a given circle. So using pen and paper, first be yourself clear on how to calculate the area of a circle. Then we will jump into writing a computer program. So first of all, let's try to visualize the uh, area of a circle program in terms of IPO, input processing and output. Let's say this is a program to find the area of a given circle. Okay, so what would be the input for this particular program? What would be the output for this particular program? And what, what would you do in the processing phase? So what would be the input I? What do you do in the processing P? And what would be the output O? Let's try to visualize this area of a circle problem using IPO. Now, first thing first, what do you need? What would be the input? What do you need in order to calculate the area of a circle? So first of all, let's draw this circle. So let's say this is a circle, right? So you should be aware that to calculate the area of a circle, you'll be needing a radius. Let's say this radius is R, right? If given a radius, we know that the area of a circle area, formula for the area is nothing but it's pi r square. Pi r square would give us the area. So if this should be the output, if area is the output, obviously the output should be the area. So I need area to be displayed. If I need area to be displayed, I have this radius as an input, right? So input should be the radius. Let's say the radius is r. If radius r is given, the output should be area. Now, how do I convert this radius r into area? So in that case, I'll be using this formula. So I'll be applying this formula, that is pi r square formula in the processing phase to actually get the area of a circle. Now, once you are clear on how to calculate the area of a given circle using pen and paper, now we'll go and open up our VS Code editor and then write our program to find out the area of a circle. VS Code is available here in my desktop, so I double click on this. Now the VS Code is open and is open with this program hello.c that we had written down in our last lecture. Okay. Now we are going to create a new file here. I go to my codes in my explorer. If I see here in the explorer, I click on this icon to create a new file. New file. Let me give the name for my file as uh, area.c. This is this should end with the dot c extension and area because I am writing the program to find the area of a circle. Enter. So this is a blank page, right? An empty file wherein I have to write my program to find the area of a circle. Okay. So first thing first, I have to start my program by writing a comment. You are correct. So I start writing a comment by giving forward slash star and then star forward slash to end it. So whatever I write here becomes the comment. So I'll write this is the so first of all, let me give the description of the program. So this is the program to find area of a given circle. Okay, and now I can write what is the input for this program. Obviously, the input for this program is the radius. Radius is the input. Let's say radius is R. And what do you do in the processing? You find the area as pi times uh, R times R. This is the formula to find the area. Okay, I'm writing pi because I don't have a symbol in my keyboard to write that pi symbol. Okay, and what is the output? I just write display area variable. Okay, so these are the three things IPO, which we have already discussed. Now I need to uh, write my program. So obviously, I'll start with the header file here. I'll be needing this header file only because I'm going to use this printf function to actually display the area that is there in my output section, right? So display the area, I need to use this function called as printf that you have used in the previous lecture also. Okay, so therefore I'm using the standard input and output header file stdio.h. I'm including this in my program. I'm taking help of this particular header file because I'm I want the help of printf to display my answer in the screen. Okay, now I write my main function. So I'll just write void main and then I open a brace and close it, right? So whatever I'm going to write in between line number 9 and 11 would be my uh, the statements that's available in the main function. This is the, the, the logic the entire program 
code's instructions for actually finding the area it has to be written down in this particular uh, section in this particular block okay whatever comes between opening and closing brace is called as a block okay so this is the block wherein i'm going to write my code to actually input processing and display the output also okay so first thing first uh, to calculate the area of a circle i will be needing a radius right so radius is a variable okay now to create a variable in math is very simple i just write in math i'll just write r equals to 2 this is this is what you have done in your mathematics classes right but here if you want to declare a variable if you want to create a variable you also have to specify what is the type of the variable okay so here i'm trying to create a radius as an integer variable int r and semicolon so what will this particular statement do is that it will actually create a container it's a, it will create a box for me okay and that box would be capable of storing a value okay and that would be my radius okay so if i have to write it down here whenever i write int r internally what is going to happen is it will actually create a box kind of a thing for me and name of this box would be r okay so r is nothing but a container okay wherein i can actually put some values so inside this r i can put some values okay so whenever i do int r it will create one box for me and this box can hold one integer value because i have given int here okay so it can store one integer value and that would be my radius okay so what i do in next line here is i go to line number 11 here and then i write r equals to 7 now what what happens here is now the radius has become 7 that means i am simply assigning the value 7 to the radius variable r okay so if i have to write it down so now what happens is with this line number 11 the value 7 comes and in this container r it will be stored that means this is the place where 7 is stored right r is a place a box where the value 7 is stored okay now my value 7 is stored here now i continue now this is my this is my part of input right so this entire thing is my input so i can write it here as a comment i can write a single line comment as well i just write the slash forward slash two times will write a single line comment okay so the, this one is a multi-line comment see i have given many lines here one two three four lines are there in this comment so in multi-line comment slash star star slash if you want to write a single line comment you have just you just have to write like this input so this this part is my input okay now let me do the processing okay now for processing what do i need is processing i have written down one more comments okay processing now what i do in processing is so let me just take this here processing now to to actually find out the area okay i need to have one more variable to store the area okay so that is where i'll be needing i have to create one more variable okay so whenever i am actually creating this uh, radius here there there itself i can create one more variable by giving comma so if i give comma area here so this will create two variables for me one is radius and one is area so whenever i do this particular thing what happens is now one more box is created for me let's say one more box is created for me and this box is named as area now i can actually uh, store my uh, area into this box okay very simple now what i do is i'll go here and then now i'll write down uh, the formula to find out the area of a circle so area is what is the area pi r square so value of pi let's take it as 3.14 pi times so for multiplication there is this star asterisk that is what you have to use star is the symbol for multiplication in programming please remember this okay pi times r times r so this is r squared okay we don't have a ready-made uh, default uh, what do you say operator for doing this squared like we do in math in math what we do is we write like this isn't it we write r raised to the power 2 but we can't write it like this in programming i have to write this as r times star r so that is what i have done here 
okay so this is pi r squared now finally once this area is calculated i need to display the area okay now i have to write the output okay so what do you do in output is display the area so for displaying what do i do i'll have to write printf function okay i'll just write printf so what is the area here area is so if i write 3.14 into r into r i should display the area here so how do i display this variable area i have to display this variable area i can't write area is uh, if i write area is area let's see what happens save this okay i go to my terminal here okay clear my screen write gcc space area dot c to actually compile my code enter no error so now a dot exe is created here this is overwritten previous one is overwritten now i can run this by typing dot slash a dot exe and i just get this message as it is area is area but here i would like to display the actual value of area okay here i would like to display the actual value of area so in that case what we have to do is i'll, I'll have to make use of something called as format specifier now because this is an integer value area is an integer value so here i have to display one integer value the format specifier for the integer is percentage d so whenever i write percentage d i mean this is a placeholder for the integer value okay so this can be replaced by any integer variable now what i do is i'll just go here back and then i'll write area is this is displayed as it is percentage d now after double quotes is ending i'll give comma and then i'll now give the name of the variable area as it is in small letters now what is going to happen is it is it is going to display here it will write as it is double quotes is there it will write area is instead of this percentage d instead of this percentage d this area value will be replaced so whatever is the area that will be replaced by a uh, percentage d will be replaced by the value of this variable area okay so uh, let's let's try to save this first again let me go back to my terminal okay clear this screen for now compile it again area.c compilation done run this a.exe dot slash a.exe now still area is area is displayed i don't know what is happening maybe we didn't save this program properly so let, let's try to compile it one more time so i'll save this one more time Control s okay then gcc area.c clear a.exe and now i see area is 153 uh, so before we end this lecture let's try to verify the answer that is area is 153 so let's try to verify this formula the area should be 3.14 times 7 times 7 and if you actually calculate this uh, multiplication if you perform it will be 153.86 to be exact but only 153 is stored in the area and only 153 is displayed to us this is not the exact answer right 153 is not the exact answer right if you just look at this the reason behind this is the variable area that you have defined is the integer so it will not be able to hold this 0.86 decimal value okay that's the reason it's it's only giving us 153 as the area because it will not be able to save the decimal value this is the integer variable integer variable right it will not be able to save the decimal uh, ending value in an integer variable so in that case what we have to do is we'll go back and just modify this particular program to make sure that it, it is working with a decimal value as well so to make a variable which is decimal instead of int we need to replace this int by float float okay so float is a data type which will make our variables to capable of holding the decimal values as well a decimal point values as well like 15.6 38.9 and, and all, all those numbers okay so if i write float here i have made bloat my radius because radius in reality can be a float value because radius can be 5.2 radius can be 16.3 centimeters right so in reality radius can be a float value and our area can obviously be float value because my my pi is also a float value 3.14 okay so i if i make this as float 
and let's let's try to now save this and let's try to compile this program area.c no, no no issues right now let's try to get the output okay now i get some unusual output right i'm getting the area as 5368709122 right i should get 153.86 isn't it but I'm getting this random value, right? The reason behind it is if I have percentage D as the format specifier for integer, and there is a format specifier called as percentage F for the float value. Okay, so for, so for the float value, the I have to replace this percentage D with percentage F. So let's do that. So instead of this, let's make this as percentage F. Okay, format specifier for float value. Now let's go back here, clear the screen, compile it again compilation gcc space area dot c and then dot slash a dot exe and now the answer is 153.86 so this is one useful program that we have written down in today's lecture that is to take the radius as an input and to generate uh, the area of the circle as the output so that's all for this lecture thank you